Get out of the way so Zane's on camera, hooked up. Is that a brownie? No. Oh. Oh my god. Preston Outdoors fans, welcome back to another video. I'm your host here, Ethan Preston, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different here for the upcoming fishing videos you'll be seeing. We're going to be running back all the way back to the uh, pre-spawn era. I've got a bunch of videos that I want to come out with, and what I'm going to be doing is doing narration and kind of interviews with myself telling you how we are going about to find these fish and catch them. Strategy behind this is that you'll be able to take this these videos and go to your local ponds, lakes, rivers, wherever you're at, and be able to implement the techniques and stuff, ideas that we had to use to actually catch fish for yourself as well. So hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you um, like to see, like to hear, and I hope it helps you guys catch a lot of fish. Sure. They fought super hard. <laughs> Look at that toad. Show the belly. Show them the belly. Oh my gosh, look how thick she is. Heck yeah. Oh, let's go. You've seen him before, but joining me in this video is Zane Brunette. And we went to a new lake and we really didn't know what to expect. We knew it was a shallow water fishery and we didn't know what stage of the spawn or whatever was going on that the fish would be in. So what we ended up doing is going shallow. Um, Zane and I both enjoy fishing shallow. And we just wanted to see what the water temperature was, where the fish would be hanging out, stuff like that. And what we found was that the fish right away, so mostly males, were like actually in under four feet like of water. Even though the yeah, water like temperature was 53 degrees, perfect for a jerk bait, but not what we were expecting for the um, pre-spawn. Zane did a lot of damage with his jerk bait, and I was using the Mad Bite bladed jig a little bit, throwing it around lay downs and cover. Basically, it was a real flat, what we considered a spawning bank, where we thought the fish would be pushed up to um, get ready to spawn. Again, water temperature in 53 degrees isn't what really we were expecting um, for fish to be pushed shallow but we were pleasantly surprised and caught quite a few fish right away at the beginning of our trip <laughs> look at that porky thing that one was on the bank dude <laughs> porkzilla Like these aren't giant fish by any means, but look how thick that is. Chunky. Oh, look at the white tips. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Angry. So only a couple hours into our trip and we had caught quite a few fish, mostly Zane dominating with that jerk bait. Um, the fish were built very, very thick, like very healthy fishery population. Again, we were just finding those smaller two to three pound males. And so we decided to go off and fish some main lake points, basically because anywhere you read any research that you can do is that main lake points are the first place that wintering bass are going to make their pit stop before they go up and spawn. So what we ended up doing is uh, getting in the boat, driving around, scanning around. What we found is some prolonged rocky points that kind of tapered off into sand and then weeds. So what we figured out is that, or guessed anyway, is that fish would be pulling up here to, to spawn or at least hang out. And what we ended up finding was probably one of the best uh, fishing days we had this spring. Look at that chode. Switched it up, we went to a couple 
couple spawning banks we thought to get some males. Barely ate it. Look at the guy. Oh, he's got black on him. Is it? He's got black lips. There we go. Four pounder. Just point. I got one. Oh, he's got it. His hand's hooked up. Dude, that's a toe, is it? Yeah. Need help with it? Yeah. Oh, 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 look at Zane's. <laughs> look at I him. thought I was snagged. And then it started shaking its head. Oh my that gosh. Did you see that? Doubles. <laughs> Four pounders. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, I was just going to put it this one back and get a release capenza. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> Dude, let's go. <laughs> it didn't take very long. Once we had the boat in the right position, we were able to start catching fish, not cast after cast after cast, but it, it was really specific oh spots on the spot that we were able to target these fish. Every stop that we did, we were able to ca catch a couple. These are some of the biggest fish that we got during the trip. Um, predominantly just dragging stuff on the bottom from shaky heads, tubes, uh, Ned rigs, stuff like that. that. And they wanted the drop shot didn't seem to work very well, but anything that was on the bottom working very, very slow, they were just straight slowly line with it. it up, not hard hits or yes. anything like that. So those fish were Look just feeding up. So with the weather we were having, I don't think they were super, super aggressive, but we were able to pick up some good fish and, and honestly had a ton of fun. <laughs> That's a big old large mouth. Just stacked pre spawn mama. I don't know if people in the video can appreciate how fat this thing is. Flip it over on his back. Like, look at that. As it got later in the day, the bite progressively got worse and worse, so we ran around to a few other spots, checked them out. Really, nothing was happening. We ran back here to check this spot close to the ramp before we left. Zane hooks up on this awesome fish. But our keys to our trip were definitely knowing what stage the fish were in, catching those fish in the beginning up shallow, letting us know that the big ones weren't there yet, and then being able to run around, use the side scan, and find some areas that we thought and put our knowledge together, heads together to figure out um, where the majority of the fish were, and the big ones like this one that you can see here. It has been hours. I got this. I got this. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. This is definitely a learning trip for Zane and I, where we able to actually go out on a brand new lake, take all the stuff that we've learned um, fishing over the years, and just go ahead and have one of the best days that we had this spring. Uh, like I said, fishing a new lake, getting big fish, and actually getting quite a few numbers. So it was a lot of fun. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to check all the Preston Outdoors social medias out. Go ahead and send me a message on Instagram, anything like that. Hope you learned something. I know it's a little late in the season for a pre-spawn, but hopefully you can use some of this information and attack the pre-spawn um, time wherever you're at across the country next year and hopefully catch some more fish. we got more videos coming. we got... We got spawning videos, we got post-spawn, we got a little bit more pre-spawn videos, stuff like that. So we're going to be doing this uh, once again and giving you the information over top of the video. So hopefully you can learn something and again, catch fish where you're at. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time.
camera's running. I'm sure that's how you're on. Oh.